This is a demonstration of how to use the VibMeter 330 to take readings on a rotating machine and to save those readings. The first thing to do is turn the unit on by pressing the circle button here in the centre. The display comes on and shows the previous reading that was taken. If I turn on this small bench motor, where I've got a sensor attached here to measurement point number one, you just simply take a reading by pressing the circle button. As you can see we've got an ISO reading at the top which is in green. There's not very much wrong with the motor from that point of view. It's running speed faults like balance, alignment and so on are covered by the ISO number. The bearing noise is quite high, the bearing's worn and we've got a reading here, 82 BDUs. It's in the amber, so 82 bearing damage units are indicating that we've got a worn bearing. It's not gone red yet, that would happen if the number got above 100. You can think of this as a percentage of bearing wear. OK, we've taken a reading on one bearing. If we move the sensor to the other end of the motor, we can compare the reading on the other bearing. Again, we just simply take a reading by pressing the circle button and the display will refresh. And here we can see that this bearing is more worn than the first bearing on measurement point number one. Measurement point number two is showing that the reading is up in the red, 120 bearing damage units roughly equivalent to 120% wear of the bearing, if you like. If we use the up and the down arrows, we can go into other screens and look at how the signal appears. If we look on the vibration analysis screen, we can see that most of that ISO value is showing up at one times the running speed of the motor, which is not surprising. This is an indication of how well balanced the machine is. Were it to show up at two times the running speed, we'd suspect a problem with misalignment. Three times the running speed, we'd probably be looking at the situation where something is loose. If I move on to the next screen, I can actually look at the frequency spectrum. And I can move a cursor around to actually read where the peaks are. Here we've got quite a peak at the running speed, exactly as indicated by our vibration analysis screen. If I zoom in, I can get even more resolution, up to 800 lines of frequency spectrum, giving me a high resolution so that I can use the cursor to actually go along and look at other features. Here's a small peak at two times the running speed. We can put the cursor on that and we can actually view the reading that we've got at that position. Having got the reading, we've gone back to the main screen here. I'm now going to save this for later upload to the PC and display using VibTrend software. All I have to do is press the Asset button, which is the bottom button here, which has an icon that looks like a fan blade. This brings up an off-route reading. I've got up to 10 off-route readings that I can save, and I'm scrolling through them with the up and the down arrows. So I'm going to save this one to off-route reading 1. I press the circle button, go down to save reading, press the circle button again, the reading is saved. This time the screen's blue. The reason is that these alarm levels haven't yet been saved in the off-route readings. These levels will be set when the reading is uploaded to the PC and VibTrend will display them in the appropriate colours green, yellow and red.